Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achano and welcome to the first episode of Game Programming. So this is an entirely new series that I'm, that I'm doing. Uh, and basically the goal of this series is to make a game, kind of like Realm of the Mad God, um, from scratch in, in Java. And the, I, I guess the goal really of this series is to teach you guys every single line of code that goes into making a game like Realm of the Mad God. So um, we will be making it completely from scratch in pure Java. We're not going to use any libraries. We're going to build, build the entire game engine from scratch by ourselves. And every video, it's going to be quite short, right? I want to try and keep every video under five minutes, um, maybe preferably around three minutes. And, um, and we'll only add a few lines of code per video, but we will completely discuss them. And I'm going to make sure that you guys understand every single line of code that you guys are writing so that you actually learn something and, you know, can go on and make your own games based on, uh, based on this series. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try and put out a video every day right every day maybe like a three minute video um where we just add a few lines of code so uh yeah let's let's, ju let's just jump into it so um i'm using a, an ide an integrated development environment uh called um eclipse now you can download eclipse it's free the link is in the description to download it um in my opinion it's the best ide for java that you can ever use we're using java by the way so um, yeah, just in case I didn't mention that. So once you do actually get Eclipse, once you download it and unzip it, you can't really install it, but you just unzip it to you know, a preferred location, um, you'll get this view. And all you have to do is hit Workbench right here in the top right. Now this is actually, um, this is actually uh, Indigo, right? There's a new version, I don't like it. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be using Indigo for this. So if you wanna follow along exactly with this, I suggest you download the Indigo version. Um, Helios is also great. I don't like the new one though. It's, I don't know, just don't like it. So I hit workbench and um, you'll, you'll get graded with this. Now in this case, you'll see that we're actually in Java AE. We don't want to use that. We want to use Java, right? So hit this little button called open perspective if you see Java AE here and then hit Java and that's it. And I'll switch over to Java. Now I'm just going to organize this slightly, right? So um. I want to assume that you guys have minimal knowledge, if you know at all, um, knowledge of Java. So we're going to sort of take things from the top. So Java operates on a class-based system, like a file-based system. So in other words, you have groups of code in separate files, or, or, or as they're called in Java, classes. So we need to create a class to start off programming, right? We can't just program here. This is, can't do this. You have to make a file to actually contain all your, all your code in it. So I uh, hit file, hit new, and hit Java project. That's the first thing we need to do. We need to make a new Java project. Now I'm just gonna call this, um, I don't actually have a name for this game, so I'm just gonna go ahead and call it rain, okay? We might add some rain or something to justify that, but I'm just gonna call it rain. Again, this is just the name of your Java project. You can name this anything you want. Hit finish. Now we've got a project. I'm actually gonna open up a new uh, view. So if you go window, show view, and then, um, um, navigator, you'll actually get more of like a folder structure. Um, and I actually prefer this to the package explorer. So we have a few, um, different folders. We don't need to worry about any of this except for the source folder. The source folder is where our source code is. So right click on that, hit new and hit class. Now we're going to create a class for our, um, for our game. So what I want to do right now is actually put it inside a package. Now a package is like a folder structure. It's like a hierarchy. So it's, it's quite a convention in Java to actually use like your internet domain name as a, um, as like a folder structure. So, so in other words, I own the domain, thecherno.com. So what I'm going to do is hit com dot thecherno, right? And basically what dots are, are new folders. It's the same thing in Windows Explorer. If you did backslash or forward slash, it's a new folder in Java, they're dots or in this case, in packages, Java packages, they're dots. Hit another dot and we'll, we're just gonna call this rain, right? So com is, com dot the channel is like our domain name and then rain is um, the name of our project, right? And that's it. We'll just leave it right there in the root folder of our, of our project. And we're gonna name the class, um, I'm just gonna name it game, right? This is gonna be our main class, which will actually run the game, right? Um, there's a few things that I don't like about this that, that I'm gonna change right now. First of all, I'm going to hit window preferences and under general, 
Um, I want to go ahead and go to editors and then text editors and hit show line numbers. Okay, this is just a prep. This is just a personal preference. I do like seeing line numbers. Um, it's great for debugging. If you get a, an error saying that there's an error at line 196, for example, you will immediately know where that is and you won't actually have to, you know, try and find it or click on the, uh, click on the link to it. Um, and uh, that's probably it. I'm also going to actually increase the font. So under appearance, um, colors and fonts, I'm just going to go ahead and under Java, there's a Java editor text font. Let's double click on that. I'm going to just set it to Korean new and probably about like maybe 14 size, just so you guys can see a bit better. All right. I don't actually like programming in such a large font, but, um, this will help you guys out. So yeah. So now we have line numbers and this is all set up. Um, the next thing to do is we're just going to actually start coding the game itself. So I am going to add a few lines of code this video, or even though we're way over time. Um, but this really is the first video and I do want to actually write something. So essentially what we've done <clears throat> is we've declared a package, right? We've had, we have a package declaration, which says that the package for this class is com.thecherno.rain, right? So if you look over here in our navigator, you'll actually see that there's a folder inside source called com, right? There's a folder inside com called the Cherno. Then there's a folder inside the Cherno called rain. And rain, and then inside rain, there's this class called game.java, which is what we just created. Now we declare the class as a public class, public class game. And then inside, inside these two curly brackets is where our, all of our, all of our code for this class um, is inside of. So first thing we'll do is once, once we've sort of thought of a game, we actually need to declare a few things. So first of all, the, the thing that I like to start off with is the size. You know, how big is this game going to be? Like in terms of the, the, the window for the game, what's the resolution of the window, right? Let's start off with screen resolution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type public static int width. And I'm going to set that equal to 300. And I'll explain all this in a second. Now, first of all, public means that it can be accessed throughout our entire project. So whatever class we're in, we can access this width variable, right? Static means that for this class, essentially what static means is that for this game class, it's going to remain the same. So if we have multiple instances of, of the game class, width is always going to equal 300. It's not going to change. Now, we won't have static, in, static references. Um, we won't have static, in, sorry, we, won't, we will not have instances of the game class. We'll only have one instance of the game class. We will not have multiple instances. So static isn't really necessary, but what static does is it actually enables us to use width in another class without actually, you know, creating an instance of the game object. So yeah, integer int means that it's an integer. So it's not, it doesn't have decimal. It's not like 300.2, it's just 300. It's an integer. And width is the name of our variable, all right? And we've set that equal to 300. So in other, words, in other words, we've created a variable called width with a value of 300. Next thing we'll do is do the same, do the same thing for height. Now, I don't actually know what height I want it to be, right? But what I do know is that I want it to be in a 16-9 aspect ratio. So what I can do is simply say that the height is equal to width divided by 16 times 9. So essentially, I'm working out the height to be, you know, whatever, whatever is 16-9 based on the width of 300. Um, and that's actually really important. In Java, in any programming language, you don't actually have to work everything out by yourself. You can let the computer um, actually solve stuff like this for you. And that's a great, it's a great tip for programming because a lot of people will go ahead and open up, um, and open up a calculator and type in 300, you know, divided by 16 times nine and be like, okay, it's 168.75. I'm going to pop that in here. Now you could, it would give you the same result, but it's much faster and it's much more readable, um, to leave it like that. Because for example, in the future, if you wanted to change the aspect ratio to 1610, you could simply just do this and that's it. You're done. So yeah, now we've got a width and height variable. I want to create a scale variable. So public static int scale equals three. Now what I've done here is I've, I've essentially just created a variable that will contain how, how much our actual game will get scaled up to. Now, because we're using pure Java and we're not actually going to involve the graphics card at all here, we, we don't, re we don't really have room to, you know, create high, a high resolution game here. We're sort of going to do like a retro style, 
game. You know, you could say like Realm of the Mad God because that looks fairly, fairly retro. So essentially what I've done here is I'm gonna, what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to do in the future is scale up this width and height by three. So I'm gonna multiply the width and height variables by three in certain areas, in areas to make the window. So essentially our window will be 900 pixels wide and then the equivalent in height based on 16, nine aspect ratio. Um, but we're only going to actually render for 300 pixels. So what we'll get is something that's actually three times larger than our current window, but um, the performance will be as if it was 300 pixels wide. So yeah. Um, again, we're, def we're defining all of this as public static and they're all integers. And we've created three variables in this video, in this episode one, um, and we've set values to them. So next episode, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at continuing with our game. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.